in RDOS CAT 7.7, we introduced a new module called the Blanking. With Blanking, we can create tools that will separate the designs from the waste on a die cutting machine. We added a new Blanking toolbar and we'll have a look how we will create the Blanking tools. First, we can choose what kind of machine settings we want to use. In this example, it will be based on a BOPS 102. Second step, we can choose what kind of blanking tool we'd like to make. Based on grid, a flat top, both knife to knife or double knife, or a combo tool. In this example, I will show you the combo. And third, we can choose whether it will be single cuts or double cuts. We see some values for the clearance and the allowances. If necessary, we can still modify them. I will just use the default values at this point. As a result, we see that the frame has been added. On that frame, we can create the metal bars. First, I will add the vertical bars, just by clicking on the line, and then I can choose whether I want to have it centered, have it on the left or on the right, with a set offset. Same for the horizontal bars, if we zoom in, I can create the horizontal bars centered on top or at the bottom of a line. This way I can create the grids of the horizontal parts. the last bits, taking it to the end of the other bar and you see that the auto copy also does its job here. To fix the metal bars to the frame we will add some clamps. Finally, on the left hand side, and our metal bars can now be fixed to the frame. Before we continue and add other components, we need some information from the die press itself. For example, positioning, 